Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about run length encoding, which is very, very important topic in your information theory and coding course. And what is that? Basically, this is a very simple lossless uh, data compression technique. Okay, you might have studied different data compression technique in your information theory and coding or ITC course that may be Hoffman, that may be Shannon Fano or Shannon binary or arithmetic coding, blah, blah, blah. And the list will go on. So this is uh, this coding technique is very simple compared to those what it says run length encoding is a very simple form of lossless data compression so that it is not a lossy data compression just now when i will show you then you will understand it more clearly in which runs of data runs of data means uh, that is sequence in which same data values occurs many consecutive data elements are sorted as single data value and count rather than as the original run okay so what is that let me uh, give you the clear idea with the example suppose you consider the input as 5521113 okay so see the output should be what will happen see there are two consecutive fives appearing all right so basically two then five this particular two value indicates that two consecutive fives of, uh, appearing side by side and this five indicates what value is appearing two times side by side there is five then see one time two so one time two then four ones okay so four ones then one times three okay so one time this one is indicating three is appearing only once okay although it may look for this particular example that why uh, where data is complex because one two three four five six seven eight here the input array in this eight output array in this also eight right one two three four five six seven eight so where data is compressed suppose you have a long sequence of five suppose you consider this particular sequence where you have a long sequence suppose let me write one two three four five six seven sequence uh, of five and one two three four five six seven and four 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 occurs then there are seven fives right so your output should be seven then five then here four fours appearing so four this indicates the count value and this is four see here our original input is this much length where output is only four length has length of four okay so data is compressed but see from the output you can exactly generate the input if you know okay fine so first one is count second one is what value uh, it is repeated so seven fives you will write in a uh, consecutive manner then you will let four fourths consecutive manner and you will get your input sequence so that although data compression is happening but the matter of fact is that this is not lossless uh, this is not lossy actually this is lossless because no information is lost due to compression we can get back the original data uh, by expansion techniques okay easily so but sometimes what may happen the run length encoding for smaller runs it may not uh, compress the data rather it can make the data bigger like suppose if the input is 9 here if you apply run length encoding only one time 9 is appearing so one nine so two digits are required to express the output where only one digit is sufficient for the input so run length encoding is helpful only when when you are uh, we, you you have one input sequence which is a long run of same number or same characters that it is same thing applicable for characters also okay like here you consider suppose 1 to 9 x is the input which is from 1 to 9 okay so basically 1 to 9 9 elements but see output has 18 elements count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Why? Because 1 to 9, 1 is appearing one time. So 1 for count and 1 is the value. Then 2 is appearing one time. So 1, 2. Then 3 is appearing one time. 1, 3. So on. Okay. Now see, compared to input, output is taking more number of integers, more number of space it will take. Okay. More space it will take. 
so runless encoding is only uh, can compress efficiently only when you have such input sequence which is a long run of same integer or same character or same symbols okay that's why now in my this video i am going to show you how you can implement this run length encoding in matlab okay i am going to show you with respect to integer data type if you want you can implement same thing for character data type also as you know that as you know a character is nothing but can be converted easily into integers by using what double keyword and we can work same fashion like in this like here in wikipedia you might get some more examples related to characters like see here one bigger very big length and a long runs of the consecutive characters are there which can be compressed like only this much okay so these are important applications of run length encoding now our question is what is the algorithm how we can do see very simple just you consider this particular example and from the example let us try to extract the algorithm see 5521113 so what we will do we will take one for loop starting from the first index to the last we will check whether two consecutive integers or uh, characters also same thing you just uh, take uh, you just map into character also so basically whether one two consecutive integers are same we are going to increment one counter value okay so like here let me show you one for particular case suppose you define one counter as c equal to 1 then we will check whether the first index as we are using our for loop from first to last so first index we will compare with the second index element as these two are same c will be incremented now c becomes 2 all right then C becomes two. Then we will check whether next two elements are same or not. See now, next two elements are different. So whenever we will get different elements uh, consecutive to each other, what we will do? We will store our count value in that array. Then we will store that particular number also, like here two, then five, and here rest of the array will be stored. Like that we will go. Okay. See here code I have written. and uh, it will be clear when i will explain the code see clc clear all close all obviously you have to write if you want to we can you can write a warning of also the next equal to input enter the array okay we are taking input from the user then y equal to one empty array we are defining to store our output then c equal to one we are defining this is basically will act like one counter then what we are doing for i equal to 1 colon length of x minus 1 length of x is basically length keyword we are using to calculate the length of the input array because like in java matlab has no restriction in array space like in java what you have to do uh, if you want to work with array first you have to define certain memory space for array then only you can take inputs right but in matlab it will dynamically arrange right so that uh, every time as user can give different different lengths so for i equal to 1 colon length of x we are calculating minus 1 why minus 1 because see we are checking if x of i equal to equal to x of i plus 1 or not if we keep our loop uh, from length of x to 1 uh, from 1 to length of x what will happen when x uh, when i will be equal to length of x then this particular x of i plus 1 will exceed the array index uh, and it will show error okay so length of x minus 1 if these are equal that means two consecutive integers or characters are equal then we are going to increment our counter what is the counter c c is equal to c plus 1 all right then else that is if two consecutive integers are not same we are going to store that in our empty array For output which we have already declared here, okay. So see y equal to y c x of i comma everywhere you should give comma to differentiate, right? Then c equal to one. Okay. Again we are uh, uh, giving the value one in the counter so that again it will start from the one only in the next iteration. Else one one and for if else one and for for loop but as the loop is going from up to length of x minus 1 so it it cannot take care of about the last element so we have to separate this to the last element like here y equal to y c x of length of x okay that's all so let us check whether our code is working or not enter the array suppose let me give uh, only 9 okay see you write y c 19 Okay, so run length working. If you want, you can write here display y to directly display that. 
okay so control a evaluate selection let me take the input array from here itself so let me take this particular uh, case control c and paste it here control v and let me first remove this yes now see what is the output two five one two four one one three let us check two five one two four one one three so our output is perfectly matching with our desired output so our code is working let us check for one more case control c oh sorry uh, actually uh, the input should be one to nine not the run length one to nine see what is the output we are getting see one to nine only each integer from one to nine with incrementation of one is appearing only once so see one one two one two one three one four one five one six one seven one eight one nine like that first term is for frequency next term is for the integer which is present in our input array okay i hope you have understood the algorithm because algorithm is most important because if you able to understand the algorithm you can implement same run length encoding program in java c c plus plus python or matlab whatever your favorite language okay so have a clear idea in this i'll post the same code in the description of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching